In this video, we're going to have a look at capacitor charging. And I'll explain my setup. So I've got a switch, so at the moment the circuit is not connected up. And then from the uh, switch, I go to a one kilo ohm resistor. And then from my one kilo ohm resistor, I go to my thousand microfarad capacitor and back to the power supply. So that's my basic circuit with switch, resistor, capacitor in series. And then I have got one channel of my oscilloscope, which is channel A, which is in blue, connected across the capacitor. So at the moment, I can see that the capacitor is fully charged, which is not what I really want. So I'm going to um, discharge that by connecting a wire across it. So now I can see, let me just make sure that's fully discharged that my capacitor is now fully discharged. So the blue channel is showing the channel A is connected across the capacitor and is showing the potential difference across the capacitor. Then the red channel, which is uh, channel B, is connected across the resistor. And so this is really showing the potential difference across the resistor. But because I know the resistor obeys Ohm's law, I've programmed into the computer, so it will calculate the current using Ohm's law and will display the current. So in the red, that is really the current that is flowing in the circuit. So what I can do now is I can turn on the circuit and we can hopefully see the capacitor charging and see what happens to the potential difference across the capacitor in blue and what happens to the current in the circuit in red. So are we ready? Three, two, one, let's charge that capacitor. Let's watch that again with an enlarged oscilloscope trace. Three, two, one, let's charge that capacitor.